Hey guys, this is uh, Tim from Rosu here. Uh, today I wanted to make this video to kind of uh, give an in-depth look at the symbology of our latest release, We Reimagined, uh, the music video. Um, the song kind of came together. We wanted to, we initially just wanted to do, we were going to do like just a traditional metalcore thing, um, which would be just unplugged, stripped down, uh, acoustic guitars, maybe a clean guitar, um, and then like piano in a little cajon, maybe. Uh, still with singing. Um, the idea was for all, for always to just be clean singing. Um, and our buddy Andrew Thurston kind of came up with this lo-fi idea of doing stuff. Um, and yeah, he sent me a skeleton, and we were like, I was like, oh shit, yeah, let's let's really let's really make this different. Let's do something that's completely out of left field, completely out of our element, and it's just something unique, um, you know, for us, for our sakes and for the fan sakes. Like I want to see like, just like how that first vocal hit of the original video, like hits and I'm zombified. I wanted like that same kind of reaction of like, huh, you know? So I hope we got it. Um, but yeah, so we did the song, we got the team back together and we were like, Hey, how can we, you know, how can we tie this into the original while creating this whole new world and this whole new vessel uh, for this video to live in? And so with Sean, Waylon, and Troy, um, we kind of talked, storyboarded, and we made it more, um, did a lot more like symbology to it and a lot, a lot more of like, okay, this guy's just getting fucked up, but it all, it all has meaning. Um, so so the story of the song is just letting go of the relationship. Um, you know, we all have it, whether it be friendships, um, you know, romantic parents, you know, anything we we've all experienced a falling out and a failure of a relationship. And through that, we all, we always carry this baggage. We become more enclosed. We come more closed off. Um, we come more emotionally and physically damaged. Um, for me, I was very emotionally and physically damaged from this one and led to a lot of drinking, a lot of nonsense, just really destroying my body um, and just pain overall. So we wanted to portray that in kind of this video in certain different ways that, you know, kind of go through the stages of grief. So, I mean, without any further ado, like, let's let's dive into this bitch and let's let's look at some shit. The green screen shit is fucking amazing, by the way. Like, love it so much. Worked out so well. It's like we see, we see in that first scene. I hate, I'm holding on to the necklace with the rings on it. Um, that's essentially, you know, I'm still holding on to the relationship, and it's the chain me up, left for dead kind of feeling to where it's like fuck. Like, if this is over, just fucking kill me now. Because nothing's ever going to be as good as that. Don't do that. Life gets better always, first and foremost. <laughs> so we have me holding onto the necklace, the initial knife in the back. So that's the initial stabbing from the relationship failing. And we proceed. So, yeah, I'm like kind of in this like drunken strung out days uh Corey bryant is an incredible uh makeup artist like she kills it she made me look way more strung out than i actually am we're healthy now by the way <laughs> so with so with this part we, like, Sean and I, Scott and I, sorry, uh, Scott and I are still kind of talking about, like, a change the weather outside your window. Like, you know, that's pretty much like we're still fully, we'll, we'll do whatever. We'll do whatever it takes to make this work. And because of that, we in, walk, in walks Henry, our first mass school, and stabs me in the fucking back again. So it's just letting go because the more that we don't let go, 
the more pain it creates. Um, just, you know, it's not just me getting stabbed. All this shit has meaning. Like, yes, I'm getting stabbed, but all has meaning. So, with the phone booth, um, initially the idea behind this shot was we've all been there um, through these these feelings and this baggage and this like failed relationships and all that shit. Uh, we've all been there where we've been drunk and we've texted the person that we've had a falling out with or that doesn't work anymore. We've all done it. Just admit to it. It's okay. You know, nobody's wrong here, but don't do it. So instead of just getting pretty like straightforward with it and like type it, you know, just having me text and then shit happening, we, we found the last phone booth in Denver and we were like, okay, well we can really, you can bring out more emotion with a phone booth and the act of actually being on the phone talking, um, which me, I'm just yelling, like, take me back. Where are you? I need you like yada, yada, yada. Um, so yeah, we have this phone booth in walks our second ghoul, Brian, who decides to throw the dagger through my hand taking away the capabilities of being able to text um the leg like the bow and arrow on the leg one like that it it's kind of like an embodiment of the whole song itself because when we get into these modes like especially with the original where i'm zombified and i'm dead inside essentially or dead on the outside um like the Arrows taking away my ability to to walk and to move. Um, we've all, you know, there's kind of that lull after these things that, like, you just get depressed. You don't want to get up. It's hard to get out of bed. Um, that's kind of what that takes. Slash, Sean just really wanted to shoot me with a fucking bow and arrow. Um, <laughs> to be very honest, he was like, ah, yeah, let's just throw a fucking bow and arrow on the leg, too. Like, mind as well. Uh <laughs> So, like, that was kind of that. And you can really see me struggling, like, as we get through, it's harder to move, it's harder to walk, it's harder to operate as a human. Um, and then, finally, we get to this line right here. Like, you made me feel so dead. You made me out to be like this. So, it's kind of just... It's almost like a talk to the female slash myself um, that, you know, both of our insecurities of like what we want to do in life is really what kind of drifted the relationship part. So we kind of made each other out to be this fucking just recluse, closed off person, um, which you, you got it. You got to let go. So this is the big money shot where I actually fucking die like all three of the mass ghouls shoot me in the back and it's really kind of that letting go like as we can see the necklace is around my neck at this point so we weren't holding on to it quite as much but it was still there it was still needing um where in the green screen shots as you would notice i don't have it because the green screen's a whole new world that's opened up to us where it's like hey we're letting you go. Like, fuck this. Get it out of my life. Bring on another girl to fucking give us pain. You know, kind of thing. <laughs> so. So they shoot me. Start chaining me up. Which, if you can remember from the first video, it's somebody being dragged into the barn. So it's a very similar outfit. Very similar look that you know I'm left for dead and, and the ghouls are essentially taking me into their barn because I'm their next victim essentially and we have to go through the world of it so like you know it kind of it kind of gives you like the vibe that like you know throughout this whole video I'm still alive but it's me dying uh, to get to be that zombie that leads us to the barn um, from the original one. So like it ties itself kind of into it to where they're like, Hey, we're the same story. 
but we're different worlds essentially, which is the whole idea from sonically to visually that we want to get across that I think we fucking nailed. And, you know, you just have to let go. And that was the whole whole point and purpose of this. But but yeah, like kind of like as I said, I just wanted to make this video to do a little bit more deep dive. Um I really like talking about this shit and I think um lyrics are so subjective um to the user uh or to the consumer I may say that a song that I write about a certain thing, anybody can take with their own way. Um which still do that. Still. Absolutely do that. That's why it's art. That's why art is incredible. It's subjective. It makes us feel all different ways. Um, so, yeah, I really just kind of wanted to break down the symbols. Um, and, you know, just kind of walk walk myself through it, too. You know, like, I don't, you know, like now, like, if you see this and go back and watch the video, you might actually, like, it might make a little bit more sense as opposed to, oh, shit, Tim's just getting real fucked up. And, oof, oof, he's having a he's having a rough night, um, you know, kind of thing, which wasn't the case. Like, this was all very thought out and dissected and everything had a reason and a point. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's the deep dive of Rue Reimagined. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like, comment to this video. Um, definitely let us know if you kind of like this video. Um, if you want us to do more, like, in-depth dives, um, you know, lyrically, sonically or visually um yeah just let us know in the comments we have a lot of content coming out um we have a lot a lot of stuff gearing up um so be sure to subscribe to this youtube channel hit that bell so you don't miss a single fucking thing and we'll see you on the road very soon in your hometown um once again thank you so much for checking this out and we'll see you at the next one